Welcome to Rico's Reading Room. Today, I'll read a silly book called "Interrupting Chicken and the Elephant of Surprise." I hope you like it. Interrupting Chicken and the Elephant of Surprise by David Ezra Stein. It was after school for the little red chicken. Well, chicken said, "Papa, did you have a good day at school?" "Yes, Papa." And today, my teacher told us every story has an elephant of surprise. So let's read the story, and we'll find the elephant. Chicken. She wasn't talking about an elephant. She was talking about an element of surprise. What's an element of surprise? It's the part of the story that makes you say. Whoa! I didn't know that was going to happen," said Papa. An elephant in a story always makes me say "Whoa!" So please, let's read the story together. All right, fine. But I don't expect you'll find any elephants in this story. The Ugly Duckling. After a long, lonely winter in the cave, the ugly duckling was growing desperate. I don't care if they tear me to pieces. He must be near those glorious creatures for just one moment," he said as he flung himself toward a flock of swans. To his amazement, the graceful birds did not attack or tease him, but seemed to accept him as one of their own. He peered into the water at his reflection, gasped, and said, "Surprise! I'm an elephant!" Thank you for finding me. No problem. We learned about you in school. Chicken, there are no elephants in the ugly duckling. Every good story has one. That's what my teacher said. That's ridiculous. Is the ugly duckling a good story? Well, yes, but there must have an elephant of surprise. Let's try another book. Rapunzel, enchanted by Rapunzel's beautiful singing, the prince drew near the tower. He had waited for this night. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, he called, "Let down your hair." Silently, a braid of Rapunzel's hair slid down the tower wall. "Come to me, my prince," called a melodious voice above. With all haste, the prince began to climb. When he reached Rapunzel, he gazed at his love, and she said. Surprise! I'm an elephant. You've done it again. You're welcome. Chicken, I know there's no elephant in Rapunzel. That's just plain ridiculous. Don't you feel sorry for the elephant, Papa? All alone, waiting for someone to find him. Read another story, and we'll find that poor elephant. Chicken, this is silly. It's my homework. Miss Gizzard said to read three books and find the elephants in all of them. Okay, Papa sighed. Here comes another story with no elephants. The Little Mermaid. Already, the mermaid could feel the sea witch's potion working. Soon, with her new legs, she would dance with the prince, and he would fall in love with her. As she crawled out of the waves. A sharp pain passed through her. She fell through the steps of the palace and knew only darkness. When she awoke, the prince himself was standing over her. In the moonlight, she saw that her wish had come true. She finally did have legs. Elephant legs! Wow, that was a surprise. I know. Well, chicken, are you happy? You've put an elephant in every story, but now I'm going to tell you a story, and I'll make sure there are no elephants. Okay, Papa, and I'll draw the pictures. Papa, story by Papa. Hi. Once there was a Papa whose daughter loved elephants, and she thought she saw them everywhere, but there were no elephants. Every day he got her dressed, but there were no elephants in the dresser. Every day he fixed her breakfast. Yum! 
but there were no elephants in the refrigerator. And every day he packed her off to elephant school. Ta-da! Hi. Hop in, chicken. Oh, Papa, I knew there'd be an elephant in the story. So did I, somehow," said Papa. And it was right at the end," said Chicken. "What a great surprise!" Are we done, Chicken? Yes, Papa. Now you can help me with my math homework. The end. If you like my video. Please hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you. Have a great day. See you soon.